What's up everyone, this is Nihil Ayal, and today we've got another video about Legion. A couple people saw my first vid and were saying, initially the game looks great, but they all do. We still typically get burnt out by the XP grind. Give us a little more to go off of. And I can understand where this is coming from. Even in the almighty vanilla and Wrath of the Lich King, which in my opinion were the two best incarnations of the game, until now anyway, leveling a character got stale by the last bit. Even though some of the higher zones had interesting stories, the grind itself just got a little dull. And well, I'm here to elaborate on that aspect of Legion. I've got one character at 110 and three more at the 106-107 range, one of which I've done completely in co-op. So I've seen a lot of the leveling based content. And today we're going to be looking at that leveling content. It's ups, it's downs, how progression feels, my thoughts on the experience as a whole, and answering the all important question, did it burn me out? Let's start with a little background. I mentioned that Vanilla and Lich King were my top picks for the game thus far, so I think it's only fair if I explain why. First, Vanilla. I have talked about this with lots of people, everyone seems to agree. One of the best parts about an MMO is when you first start out and there's this sense of wonder. It's not just a series of zones, it's not the stats you need to calculate, it's this living, breathing world. It needs not only to be an interesting story with good gameplay, there needs to be a sense that the world you're entering exists without you being there. Like it's not just tailored for your leveling experience, even though in a sense, it has to be. I think Vanilla did this very well. One of the big reasons for this was the seemingly isolated quest hubs. If you rolled into a town, it had its own problems, not affiliated with a larger plot, and not just throwaway. I thought that was one of the bigger downfalls of both BC and Cataclysm. Everything was either tied to the main storyline, or a hub filled with standalone quests, rather than these smaller independent storylines you saw in Vanilla. And this really took away from the world building. You know, if it wasn't something like this huge storyline where you were pushing the Legion out of his own, it was a guy who needed you to get a couple goat skins for a blanket, and that's it. No story. And this is very difficult for me to say, but I honestly believe that Legion is beating the original game in this aspect. So, remaining as spoiler-free as possible, your character is told to go find these four things called the Pillars of Creation to fight the Legion, and it's just some artifact from each zone, but the way it's presented is that each zone has its own storyline, and then several subplots within that, and then they all link back to the Legion story periodically. It ends up feeling like each zone is alive. The war with the Legion is affecting everyone, and you can feel it, but there's also day-to-day -day stuff, the small bits of flavor that add character to the area. The duration of the hubs also feels very fine-tuned, with Minor exception, I didn't feel like I was trapped in a hub, just trying to get to the next one. There's just enough quests to get me interested in what's going on, and then it has me move on to the next before I get bored. This is an area in which Vanilla actually failed. Let me tell you, I was done with Shimmering Flats long before I got out of there. And since there's not a huge grind from 100 to 110, you just kind of glide through the hubs without much issue. So on the world building front, Legion is doing very well. It's not the most immersive MMO world I've been in, but it's definitely a good one. And on to Wrath of the Lich King, one of the things that made that expansion so great was how connected it was to its RTS heritage. I remember in some of the early quests, you'd have Arthas's character model just spawn, talk for a bit, and despawn. When I saw that, the first thing that came to mind was, this is straight out of Warcraft 3. And I mean, it was everywhere. The gunship battle in Ice Crown was giving me these huge Warcraft 2 vibes. The layout of the zones felt a lot like RTS maps. It felt like they went back to their roots in Lich King. This is another aspect in which Legion is doing a great job. The reworked rare mob system isn't new, but they've used it in kind of a new way. Marked on your map are all of these mini events that will lead up to a rare monster spawning. Some of them are wave defenses, there's a really cool one where you use ballistas to kill an elite sea giant, and these feel just like the bonus objectives in Warcraft 3. And once again, the zone layout feels very RTS. I know that's kind of vague, but for instance, go to a zone in BC or Pandaria and just open your map. 
It's a field of some kind with varied terrain. If you were to remove all the mountains, which seemed kind of out of place anyway, it'd just be this huge empty rectangle, maybe a few chasms in it. But look at a map in Legion. These zones are interesting shapes. Any foothills or mountains that are around don't feel like they've been put in for the express purpose of keeping players stuck in the terrain. I think a lot of the poor design choices stem from the accommodation of flying mounts, but I don't really want to get into that right now. It's also worth noting that the classic characters feel very much like they did in other games. Gul'dan and Malfurion are both pretty spot on, although I feel the biggest standout is Illidan. And this is because BC Illidan was horrific. I ran Black Temple the other day for Transmog and had forgotten how terribly he was represented in that expansion. You look at Warcraft 3 Illidan, then stack it up to BC Illidan, and it's like, man, what happened? Legion Illidan is pretty true to character. I do know a lot of people that don't like the fact that they essentially retconned BC in its entirety, but personally I'm fine with it because that was awful and gets a little silly here, but it's fine. Bottom line, Legion feels very Warcraft. It feels like they're paying homage to their RTS roots. While Legion has certainly excelled in what I've talked about, it also has some pitfalls. One of these is the narrative timeline. Those great zone storylines I was talking about? The game pretends they're taking place in real time. Like every quest you're doing is one after another, and the story starts to have some gaps if you step away from it. This in and of itself doesn't bother me that much because I like the zone stories and all in all that makes sense. What does bother me is in addition to the zone stories, there's also the class hall campaign and a series of missions from Cadgar. Both of these are long interconnected stories and they're also independent of the zone timelines. Yet the game always gave them to me as I leveled up and I was right in the middle of a zone. So it was like, well, this place is under attack and I've got to go defend the town or it will be destroyed. But first, let me teleport to the other side of the planet and fight this guy so there's a way to add Christmas lights to my class hall. Of course, you could ignore these quests until after you finish the zone or you cap, but they also seem urgent. You're in your class hall all the time, you've got to keep your artifact upgraded, and you've got to keep those missions rolling. And to get to the class halls, you typically have to go through Dalaran. So as soon as you get to Dalaran, you get a messenger sending you to Cadgar, who gives you a quest, then you get another one when you do get to your class hall. So you end up with three seemingly important missions all at the same time, and they kind of take you out of the immersion of one another. I'm sure a lot of people will say, who cares, but as someone trying to enjoy the lore and the world while I'm leveling, it's a pretty big thorn in my side. Another place where Legion could use some work is dungeons. I know, shocking, right? The leveling dungeons are beyond base roll. I did one last night, and our tank and healer both were like similar my AFK. And it just didn't matter. We had a Void Walker from a Destro Lock tank some of the pulls and he did fine. And it's been like this for a few expansions now and it's not okay. I'm not a big fan of having heroic dungeons at all. I'd rather just have additional dungeons that are harder. But it's not that. It's not even the fact that they're saving mechanics for heroics. It's just a numbers thing. Look, if you put five people in two or three groups of monsters and nobody really knows what to do and they can kill all of them without any trouble, the enemies are too weak. And it's so weird. I've had to pay attention in the solo scenarios and a couple of the world quests, but then when it's dungeon time I can just take a nap with my finger on an assist macro and be fine. The defense here might be people don't want to spend times in leveling dungeons, but what that boils down to is trash. People don't want tons of trash mobs. I'd rather have an hour of semi-interesting dungeon than 20 minutes of no effort. I've done all three roles in the leveling dungeons as well, and it's not getting any harder on any of them. In fact, the only discernible difference was how easy tanking was. I couldn't lose aggro if I tried, and I actually tried. I pulled two packs on a demon hunter, pressed immolate, and then stopped using buttons. Didn't lose a single monster. I don't know what has happened to Thread over the years, but the whole thing is absurd. No, you can't expect people to be masters of their classes in leveling dungeons 
but you can expect them to at least be paying attention. It's group content. You should have to work as a group to get it done. Blizzard should be working on making dungeons fun, not accepting that they're an inconvenience and treating them like one. Anyway, progression as a whole in Legion feels really good, really steady. Since monsters and quest rewards scale to you, the content always feels like it fits. All of the classes I've played have felt solid on all specs, the one exception being Demonology Warlock and felt a bit lackluster, which sucks because I read the class direction for the expansion and really liked it. But other than that, all of the classes I've played have felt really solid. I've only done four though, so maybe there are some others that are lacking. Experience also felt steady. The level which felt the slowest to me was actually 100 to 101, because a couple of my characters had pretty low eye level for the intro to Legion content, so it took that first level of gathering gear to start feeling good. Once I hit that point though, it was smooth sailing. Even 109 to 110 didn't feel like a grind, it felt just like 108 to 109. On my first character, I actually finished getting to 110 a full zone early, so I actually went through High Mountain at Cap. I had a couple people message me after the first video and they were concerned that I was going to get bored of the artifact weapon, but I haven't. I don't miss weapon drops. I still enjoy leveling my artifact with me. They always feel like a part of my character. Although one critique there is that it gets a little hard to freely swap specs before you could just simply get an extra weapon from leveling or dungeons and keep it around, or sometimes you could even use the same weapon as your other spec. Now it really feels like you're lacking artifact traits if you try to swap specs a lot. This of course is different in Cap where you can farm up your artifact traits, but while leveling it really feels like you've just got to pick a main spec. So if you haven't gotten your answer by now, it's no, I didn't get burnout leveling in Legion. I really enjoyed it. I want to do more of it. I actually had so much fun in Legion that when I jumped back to a character that hadn't gotten into Warlords yet, it felt so bad just trying to get up to 100. I had a lot of fun leveling up solo in Legion. I'm having a lot of fun doing it co-op with a friend. Even the Torin zone was pretty interesting, which is a first. The only time I felt like I was going back to the grindy numbers game MMO was in dungeons. I hope they learn from that going forward. Normally I'd say there's no chance, but they've taken big strides with Legion, so who knows. So yeah, Legion's great. If you haven't bought it yet, go do it. The leveling and campaign experience alone, probably worth the entry fee. And while I'm here, I just want to go over a little bit of channel news. Content has been pretty sparse as of late. There's actually construction next door, and I've got to record late at night, and it's almost impossible to stream. I've got a couple videos already made, I just need to get the audio done. So be on the lookout for those in the near future. And of course, I'll be back to my regular schedule as soon as construction is finished. That is of course, one video on YouTube every day, and streams every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2pm. I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe for more content. And of course, I will see all of you next time.